Ahoy hoy and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to go over the dankest memes from the r slash dank memes from Site19 subreddit. The first one here is from Chipdale Chippendale. The SCP Foundation getting ready to violate human rights so no one finds out about a teleporting table or some sh**. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it is interesting uh, how far the SCP Foundation, at least in some articles, is willing to go to keep a very mundane, uh, not well, none of them are mundane because they're actual magic, but uh, to keep something that is pretty mundane fairly quiet. The next one here is by Comfortable Son 5698. Brothers and sisters are natural enemies. Like SCP fans and back. I'm not going to try and do a Scottish accent. No one ever can do a Scottish accent, right? Except for the Scottish. <laughs> and for them, it's not an accent. Like SCP fans and Backroom fans, or SCP fans and Siren Head fans, or SCP fans and Slenderman fans, or SCP fans and other SCP fans. Damn SCP fans, they ruin the fandom. You know, this is true of every fandom, though. Uh, and I don't think that the SCP fans in Backroom, or SCP and Siren Head, or SCP and Slenderman um, are necessarily natural enemies. I think that's unfair, but uh, it is a funny meme. Uh, and it's fair, it's true enough that it works. Uh, but still, I, I think, uh, I think there's plenty of room for, for all of these things to exist in the same area. And to be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with, for example, siren heads, like nobody's anti siren head. They're just anti trying to take something that is copyrighted and throwing it into a copyright free zone. Anyway. SCP fans explaining there is no canon. Me who's read 15. I don't know what that means. Me who's read 15. Uh, but this is by FanboyX27. Maybe 15 articles? I don't or I don't know if 15 is something specific or not. Uh, but it's entirely possible. Um, I saw this in the comments. And it's something I say uh, pretty often myself. And that's that there is no canon is slightly less accurate than... Um, there are infinite canons because every article is its own canon. And whilst other ones may connect into a, while an article can connect to another article, it doesn't necessarily have to. Um, and I like to say that each of them individual, each of them exists in their own individual canon and together at the same time. It's like there are three alternate universes for two articles, one where they one each where they exist independently and then a third one where they exist together. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, an infinity more when you consider all of the SCP articles put together. SCP researchers, after putting an SCP in a 5 foot by 5 foot by 5 uh, point zero zero one foot box, and said, yeah, this is something that, uh, by the way, this one is by Ghost the Spoopy. This is actually something that we have to constantly caution new authors about because it's something that showed up in a, a lot in series one articles and it's just bad writing because like what if exactly exactly this we uh, will often ask this exact question what happens if you take it and put it in a box that's five by five by six is that the end of the world if not then maybe it doesn't need to be there you could just say standard something something containment chamber uh, it's just a very uh, it's it's a common it's a common mistake people make Foundation coming up with innovative ideas to contain. Oh, this one's by Pivot OB, uh, which you can actually see they've uh, watermarked it, which is a good idea. The foundation coming up with innovative ideas to contain literal gods and eldritch abominations. According to this one myth from a scrap of paper from the other side of the world, redacted can be slowed with blood. We should just need a liquid substance with high iron content. The foundation coming up with names for their organizations. <laughs> we'll call it the Scenic Cultural Places Association. Um, I mean, to be fair, that's mostly for the reader's benefit than it is for the uh, in-universe benefit. But you you have to uh, you have to actually connect the two, and so yeah, there's a problem where um, there's a scenic cultural places association, for example, and everybody who knows what the SCP Foundation, anyone who knows what the SCP, the you know the Serpent's Hand, the GOC, the Chaos Insurgency, certain government officials that are highly placed. In democracies at the very least uh look at that and be like um that's just an scp front isn't it <laughs> and uh not exactly super secret uh shoulder meme 
This one is a shoulder meme. Things a lab coat protects you from. Chemical hazards such as acids, skin irritants, and caustic solutions. Fire hazards, potential glass shards during violent chemical reactions. Things that a lab coat does not protect you from. Cognito hazards and magnetic uh, and memetics. I said magnetics almost. SCPs that can cause your entire bloodline to simultaneously <laughs> shit themselves in the little antichrist. Don't be a dumbass. Don't wear a lab coat at the foundation because it is useless. Wear a reality anchor vest or something. I don't know. Actually... I'll tell you this, um, wearing lab coats outside of a laboratory uh, setting is often a sign of somebody who doesn't really need a lab coat uh, and is just doing it for show uh, because you shouldn't be risking potential contamination, invisible or otherwise, or getting it dirty uh, by using it outside of the laboratory conditions. Uh lab coats should be sort of only used in that one instance and nothing else but uh, a lot of people want to do the other thing uh it, it works though because it is for show um again sometimes things are for the audiences or the uh, readers benefit and not for the actual in-universe benefits either way um even if that's true, though, of course, there is the fact that, you know, most of the stuff the SCP Foundation deals with are not fire, chemical, or physical uh, hazards. They are <laughs> not things that your lab coat can protect you from. But here's what you do, Shelter. Let me tell you something. What if the lab coats that the SCP Foundation wear are reality anchor vests? Maybe that's why they wear them everywhere. Hmm? Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimmerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.